Hi guys, this is Ying and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you about the things that I do during my entrepreneurship. As you can see, most of us guys are employees just like me before and I wanted to share this opportunity to be an entrepreneur. But I also say that there's so many many opportunities out there. Me as an entrepreneur for more than 4 years already and I've encountered these kinds of challenges. So later I will discuss all what my challenges and encountered in my entrepreneurship. After the employment, I was laid off from my job and I didn't know what to do. So, I know that entrepreneurship would be the best solution for my career. I did struggle a lot and especially when I got laid off, two months already. Me, as an entrepreneur for almost four years, have encountered this. So, me guys, as a practitioner of the entrepreneurship, here are my tips. First of all, let's go back first to our main topic and this is about entrepreneurship, okay? You, you guys need to realize that being an entrepreneur, it's not so very, very easy. Now, you may encounter some challenges like for example, your cash flow and also your time management and of course, your delegate tasks and also the choosing to sell products. You may also face the challenging of capitalization and also marketing strategies and you will also encounter um, strap finance or strap budgeting, business growth and also self-doubt. Now these are normal for an entrepreneur. Okay, so why did I started this vlog? It's because people who have comment in my previous video like for example number one we have this Lomola. I agree that being an entrepreneur Productive result will always be dependent on how much effort you exerted to it. Yes, Lomola, it is correct. And B, I've been doing this for more than four years already, and this is really true. Another comment from Daisy de la Checa. Wow, nice, nice coach. Congratulations. Entrepreneurship is still the best. Yes, it is. But there are pros and cons, meaning there are advantage and disadvantage. And today, we're going to discuss about this advantage and disadvantages. Number three, we have the comment from Ferchi. Um, so this is also the reason that oh, why I made this video, because of the commentators of my videos. Wow, thank you for the motivation. I really wanted to go to entrepreneurship, but I don't know how and I can't leave my current job. He said he's concerned with his cash flow. So, okay, don't worry, Ferchi. We are going to answer that in this video. Number five, we have Red Jiang Ming. Uh, he commented, thanks, sir. Your story is very inspiring. Thank you. May God bless you more as you help more people. Number five, uh, Meta. we have a startup entrepreneur here and was commented by Enski Pitogo. Okay. So she used to be work here in Hong Kong and now she went back to her country to start up a small business. And now she is enjoying the time freedom without working with a boss. Okay, so congratulations, Lenski Pitogo. Keep, keep up the passion. Okay. All right, so let's go back to our main topic. And our main topic will be the advantage and disadvantage of entrepreneurship. Okay, so, so let's start with the advantages. For entrepreneurship, we manage our own time. We have the capacity to work wherever we want, whenever we start. Okay, so we have a very flexible schedule. We have the capacity to set a salary which is high to the topmost. That's what's best with entrepreneurship. And since we're going to keep on hustling 
or bustling around. Very good result. We can enjoy the exciting experience and fulfilling experience. And what's good with this? We learned a lot. And we're working to our own schedule. We set up our own schedule. That's what's good with entrepreneurship. And we go exponentially, not just only with ourselves, but also with our income. And also we can define our own goals. For example, this week's goals, it's going to be this income. So we're going to make our own strategy to that income. And we can work whatever we want. So these are the advantages of entrepreneurship. Now let's go back to the disadvantages of entrepreneurship. Now, these are one of the disadvantages. Um, if the business goes slow and the income will be at risk, especially with a longer working hour, working schedule of an entrepreneur will be very, very unpredictable. The work-life balance will be very tricky and it's not very, very fixed. And also, the income is unpredictable. The only also a disadvantage, sometimes we're doing our own best, clients may transfer to the other suppliers. Salary is not guaranteed stable and it requires more work compared to the employee. Alright guys, so I hope this video will really help you a lot by understanding what's the advantage and disadvantage. So once you see this video, uh, you can just comment or if you have questions with this video, you can always comment below so that I can make another video for you. And uh, if you like this video, click like and comment below if you have questions and make sure you also subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye!